my last girlfriend is, isn't even the only girl that I dated long distance. I dated another girl long distance, but she, she dumped me. She broke up with me. And, uh, and when it happened, it kind of came out of nowhere. But now when I look back on it, I think the, the, there were some warning signs. I that saw are, it coming. Yeah, you saw it. <laughs> Ron's got that 2020 vision. I was, I was blinded by the light. But, uh, I should have seen it coming. You, because, well, like, here's what happened. Two weeks before she dumped me, we had a pregnancy scare. Right? And it was my very first pregnancy scare. It was at least her third. Because she has two children. She has two kids. Uh, and when she, when she dumped me, when, when she found out she wasn't pregnant with my kid, she got so excited that it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. Does that make sense? Like, don't get me wrong, I was also excited, but she was like way more excited, right? Like, I was normal excited, she was black church excited, right? Like... <laughs> like, as soon as she found out the room was full of doves, a, a choir came out of nowhere, Outcast performed, Outcast did two songs. <laughs> A pinata of her womb descended from the ceiling. She smashed it open. Nothing fell out of it. And then she dumped me, right? She dumped me. And I thought it was a good relationship, and she ended it anyway, right? And maybe it was. Maybe it was a good relationship, and maybe sometimes even good relationships have to come to an end. That's just part of being human, right? Mm. That's just part of being human. Funches? That's just true words right there. <laughs> Sometimes even the most beautiful things have to come to an end. Somewhere, someone out there is still driving one of those Pimp My Ride cars. Right? Think about the reality of that. 10 years ago, there was nothing on the planet cooler than a pimped ride. That was the coolest thing. Just whipping around town in a Tangelo Celica, right? <laughs> Picking your friend up for lunch, friend gets in the car, like, where are we going for lunch? Right here, panini press, right in the middle. In the middle? <laughs> but now it's 10 years later, and that same guy is driving that same car to pick up that same friend from the airport, and that car is busted now. Friend is standing there with his luggage, like, where should I put my suitcase? I don't know, why don't you put it in the fish tank that hasn't had a fish in it for a decade? <laughs> Exhibit needs a new show. <laughs> Where he finds those rides that he pimped and fixes what he did to them. Right? We'd watch that. Just exhibit rolling up on people like, yo, what's up, dog? Uh... <laughs> I know 10 years ago we put eight game cubes in a bowling alley in your scion. But honestly, we thought you'd have a new car by now. But since you don't, me and the boys at West Coast Customs pulled our money together and put down a down payment on a Mitsubishi Galan for your ass. Sorry about everything. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm an Ian Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to click subscribe to see even more great Conan clips. You may now return to your pirated movies and creepy Japanese pornography.